and a, a very uh, underrated, criminally underrated, Andrew Wyeth. Andrew Wyeth, yeah. you talked about Hopper. Andrew Wyeth is a bit more realistic than Hopper, but there are, there's one painting, and I forget the name of it, where you just see an old shack, a tree, and hanging from the tree are some corpses that are drying out. And it's the tenant farmer, isn't it? Some, whatever it is, you know. Uh, yeah. Christina's world gets all the glory, but he, there are other paintings. I've got books of it. You know, uh, Andrew Wyeth was just was just outstanding. I think we uh, forgot about Matisse as well. Matisse is another one who uh, I, although Matisse, I think is a bit overrated, but I think I, you know, uh, I always thought that he was. Uh, I mean, they they either rag on they either say Matisse or Picasso is usually the default answer for 20th century painter. I would yeah. say Matisse is a bit better and more consistent than Picasso. Picasso's later stuff is just shit. Yeah, but I don't think Matisse pushed the envelope the way Picasso did. And yeah. this is why I would say Dolly... Maybe it's a draw is, then. Yeah, I would, I, I would say this is why Dolly is better than both of them. Because uh, you look at Dolly's paintings, well, uh, and he deals with so much again. And the, the the reason Dolly is dismissed is because of his over the top personality. It's the same thing, you know, why Oscar Wilde. I mean, an anteater in New York. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the same reason Oscar Wilde is overlooked. Uh, his four major plays are four of the greatest comedies ever. Um, and and they're, they're, there's really amazingly consistent. You know, everyone knows the importance of being earnest, but the other ones, uh, Lady Windermere's fan and. Uh, What's the other ones? I forget. But I mean, they're just as funny. That I mean, uh, and it, it's the just ideal like, husband. The ideal husband, yeah. Uh, and it's it's such a shame. I mentioned Oscar Wilde earlier. I mean, goddamn, Oscar Wilde was you know, as we would say, mad talented. Had he not fucked up his life, had he not been fucked over by the provinciality of the the day, uh, I think he probably could have done dramas as he aged. And I would have loved to have seen a sixty five year old, uh, you know. Wild do a drama about society, really bitter about the way he was treated and 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 whatnot. Um, and this is the, the and this gets back to to the novel that I wrote is that um, you know Ben is doing this stuff, and I think once or twice he laments that he he wants to have more time to be doing the writing, and that's the same thing with this job. You know, I just came off of a nine and a half hour shift before we were talking and. I went to look for some new shoes, and then I I, I got something at Chick Fil A to eat, and you know, uh, and then I'm talking here, and it's like I want to. There are so many, you know, I've got a corpus larger and greater than anyone in writing, and I think any uh, art, but I could have had more, and that's that's the frustrating thing is I could have had more. I I could have developed quicker had had, had I not wasted so much time with this writing and the same thing with jessica you know jessica in a sense if you've ever seen uh, from your science class as a kid imagine me as a uh, a yeast cell and jessica is sort of the bud uh, from my yeast cell and then there could be a bud from jessica and another bud on me and and whatnot and i that's been delimited by the amount of time i have to waste because we live in this society i send out to these these plays to theaters you know, one asinine theater, you know, writes back, oh, well, when, when you move to Texas, let us know. I said, I live in Texas, you know, just the other day. And I was uh, I was uh, uh, on Twitter. I think I, I mentioned in the thing and that dumb cunt Ann Coulter was was writing stuff about how the, the shooting in Pittsburgh and the bombings that were the bomb, the bomber who was sending threatening bombs, you know, how this was some left wing plot. And I said, to, to some guy who wrote about her putting her down. I said, she's just a dumb cunt and whatnot. And Twitter Twitter has locked my account. I don't know if it's totally banned or whatnot. I'll probably go on Instagram in a couple of days if it's not released. But it's like, the, the, I, just, I just use that to try to get the stuff out there. But even then, I mean, I, I'm stuck at like 1,200, 1,250 followers or something, whatever it is. And it's like, why? Uh, all of these, you look at these people who have these Twitter followings, they have 50,000 people in one, they don't say anything. This get this is what people follow. Now, I, I've said to Jessica many times, art, you're never going to, it's only going to be a 1%, a you know, 
one tenth of one percent of the people out there are ever really interested in art. This filmstruck site that's going down. Jessica was literally crying about this. I said, Jessica, we'll find something else here. Uh, and uh, but people don't care about art. People don't care about deeper things. This is why they become scam what? artists. Like 